Welcome back to TIG Time. I'm Mr. TIG. You know, we get a lot of questions on welding aluminum, and you're going to see numerous series of welding aluminum, primarily because it's just different. It's not difficult, just different. So we're going to show you some of the uh, easier wells and progress all the way up to the most difficult. Now, we've done a few series already on welding aluminum, but now we're going to start into fillet wells. Fillet wells typically are the most difficult, and I like to describe them being the most difficult because when you try to get the arc down into a fillet, right where you need it, right down into the crack, it's difficult. The arc bounces from the top to the bottom, top to the bottom, and it doesn't go where you want it to. So I'm going to use my machine here to help me a little bit. Now one of the things that I can do is I can change the hertz on this machine. For instance, if you have a standard machine that doesn't have any of these settings on it, you get 60 hertz. Well, I'm going to turn this machine up to 150 hertz, and what that does is it chokes the arc down. And by choking the arc down, it allows me to focus the arc right where I need to be. So I have eighth of an inch thick material here, at 6061 aluminum, and I'm welding this, or I have welded this, and I put the arc right where it needs to be. Now, as far as the cleaning action, this material is fairly clean, so I'll set the machine on about 73% negative. So I'll get a little bit of cleaning action, but I need to really drive in there and penetrate. So as I'm welding, I, I have a slight angle to the torch. The direction that I point the torch is the direction that I'm going to go, and I'm going to be adding filler material. Now, this being in the 1G position is the easiest position, so always try to get your part in that position if you can. If you can't, we're going to teach you how to weld in the 3G position, and what you're going to see in the 3G position is going to be almost the same thing. If you, uh, if you look at the, the arc direction, you're going to point it upward, and we're going to go vertical up. So you're going to see this direction, and you're also going to see we're introducing the filler material from the top. And it's the same technique. It's dab, 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 but point upward about 15 degrees, head uphill, and dab. Let that arc melt both sides together and flow together before you add the filler material. So let's get started, and we're going to show you a live arc. Okay, here we go. Okay, I've got it hot enough now. I've got it right down in the root where I want it. Adding filler material, just a constant dab. I've got plenty of cleaning action. You actually can hear the frequency. You can see the clean. I'm pointing upward about 15 degrees. And I'm um, actually I'm moving along pretty good. I'm going to get out of position. It looks like here in a few inches. So I am getting out of position. So I'm going to put some filler in and back off. And I'm going to back off to move the puddle backwards just a little bit. And what that does, it stops the hot short cracking problems. Okay, I'm doing a remelt right here. Takes a little while to reheat up. There it goes. So I'm getting near the end of the plate, so it's going to get hot. I'm going to go ahead and add a little extra filler material, and then just back off real slow so it doesn't crack. Okay. 
Okay, now that we've finished this vertical up or the 3G position, I just want to recap a little bit. It, it's difficult to make the full run nonstop because sometimes you just have to reposition. And I did. I got out of position. I welded probably three or four inches and then I, I tapered off. But what you probably noticed is that when I finished my weld, at least the termination of the weld, I backed up just a little bit. That stops the cracking. When I resume the weld, I do the same thing. I back up just a little bit, catch some of that alloy, and then I can resume my weld. Now, we've, we've had special requests to do different types of aluminum uh, samples. This one here is, is 125, 125 thousandths wall thickness or, or plate thickness. So we're going to bring you one of the most difficult ones in one of our next episodes where we're doing actually the base is 125 and the upright piece is going to be about 35 thousandths aluminum. That's it for now. Thanks for watching TIG Time. I'm Mr. TIG.